This is an introduction to the ABC method of uh, curriculum design. What we've realised is that although academics are well versed in developing uh, very effective programmes here at UCL, uh, there's, a, there's a growing interest in using uh, blended methods. On top of that, of course, we now have the uh, Connected Curriculum Initiative trying to bring in um, more uh, research-based education into the designs. As our academic colleagues are finding it quite complex to try to design these into, into programmes. So there's a lot more choice, there's a lot more things you can do with students. And what we're looking for is a simple and quick methodology to design rich uh, environments uh, for their students. To show how the um, workshop uh, progresses, I'll give you an example of working with a, a team uh, to design a, a module. You start off asking the module leader to describe the module in a way that uh, captures the unique elements of this particular module. What is, what is the thing that we put in, for example, a catalogue to attract students? We all agree on that. Then what we do is we try to describe the module by using the, the elements that of, of Professor Laurie Lard's uh, lear learning types. This actually is quite easy because the learning types are based initially on just conventional teaching and learning. They do that and that gives them a little shape using a star diagram like this. That gives them an initial shape for the course and we'll return to that later on. We also ask them to kind of uh, give an indicator of how much blend is going to be in the course, how much is online, how much is face-to-face. -face. That gives us a starting point. We then ask the uh, module team to select the learning types, the little cards which represent the learning types. These are sort of fairly common elements of any, uh, any programme. And we ask them to put them in a sort of sequence uh, uh, representing uh, the, the module. So you might have several ones of production, several ones of uh, practice, several ones of acquisition and the other uh, learning types. That gives an overall view of what the course should look like. Once they've done that, we ask the teams, the module teams, to turn them over. And on the back of each of the cards is examples of activities which would represent that type of learning. We then go through these activities and take the ones they might want to use, or there's plenty of space there if we think of other things which uh, we haven't thought of, they can add that which makes that unique for, the, for that particular module. This turned out when we tried it out to be fairly straightforward. It goes through quite quickly and the most important thing is it generates a kind of discussion amongst the uh, module team about what kind of activities we're going to do, what sequence are we going to do it, when do we do it, if you like, with the students, what do we expect the students to get out of this. And that starts to link naturally into how we're going to assess the uh, module as well. So what, what, is it, what types of activity should be assessed. We look for formative and summative assessment within uh, the module to see where they fit in. We add certain little stars or indicators of where that might be. Um, we found this to be incredibly productive and at the end of the day you have this uh, storyboard which really represents the, the whole module and we have an indicator, almost placeholders for the types of activities we're going to have. We then go back and reflect and say does this capture the unique parts or the shape of the course? We go back and do the little diagram, little star diagram again, and we look again at the blend and to say, well, has there been any change to this process? Has the shape changed? Has the blend changed? And if so, why? So we go back and readjust it. At that point, we've got a really nice description of the, of the course or the, or the module, which can then uh, be used for the basis of either a Moodle course or it could be a, a sort of more detailed um, course descriptor to go in the handbook, for example.